Hey everybody, Matthew Cook here, founder and CEO of GTC Golf Academy. And today I'm gonna to show you how you can hit a draw. Now, traditionally we've been taught the wrong way. We have been told to aim the club face where we want the ball to finish and aim our body where we want the ball to start. And if we swing along the line of our body, the ball will start to the right and then curve back to where the golf club is pointing. And we know that's now not true with the use of radar technology. The golf club is responsible for over 90% of the ball starting direction. And we know that the direction the club swings in and the, the swing path is responsible for the, uh, the tilt which the spin, the spin has, or the, ball, the tilt which the ball has, which influences uh, the direction the ball curves with its spin. So what I'm gonna show you right now is a way that we can get familiar with hitting a draw and the characteristics that we need to achieve in our swing to hit a draw because it's uh, it's quite a difficult shot for those that don't regularly hit draws or don't naturally hit a draw um, and I, I believe the best training aids in the world is the environment if we can create an environment that allows us to consciously and be engaged cognitively in you know so we're thinking about how our body's changing how we're moving the club our body what we're trying to achieve with the ball and the outcome like if we're if we're really trying to think about this and do it you know we're not just um rifling through 50 balls in a row we're we're slowing the swing down we're doing 50 60 70 percent of our speed so we can actively feel and see what we're trying to do that'll help us build a much um, better uh, mental representation so the image that we hold in our mind of what we're trying to achieve which helps drive movement it'll uh, if we can achieve that in our practice session and through the use of creating the environment we're going to be able to hit draws quicker and uh, more efficiently so and that's what everybody wants right we want to be able to hit a draw almost on cue so in order to do that consider what i'm about to say so i have taken a ball above my feet lie now fortunate enough for me this is on the range um uh, the rest of the range is flat but then there's a little tee here and uh, on the side of it the ball's above my feet and i can it, it's a sort of a moderate slope it's not severe uh, it gets a little bit more severe further down but this is just a moderate slope and that's what i would advise you start on moderate slope ball above your feet lie and to start with i just want you to try to hit the ball off of the slope and not dig the club into the ground i've got a seven iron here so uh, a slight divot is going to be um, going to be uh, nice for, to achieve. So I still want the same type of divot, uh, but I want to do it on a ball above my feet lie. Now that's going to give me the sensation of the club swinging a little bit more from the inside and the characteristics that I need my body to achieve in order to get the club to swing from the inside. And that's going to help uh, me understand the feeling of this. Also, it's going to make me uh, get the club in certain positions on the way back and on the way down that are also influential for a draw. So, and I would just go ahead and hit shots on a moderate slope and just watch how much the ball moves and use that information to more accurately predict those lies out on the golf course. So, go ahead and set up ball above my feet lie now what you'll find with these lies is because the ball is essentially closer to you, you stand a little taller not as much flex at the knees or at the pelvis and from here you're swinging you'll feel straight away that the club works more around my body I'll get the path swinging a little bit more uh, what's feeling in to out and there we'll see a nice draw didn't quite take much of a divot then, hit it quite nicely off the surface. Uh, a better strike would have been a, uh, a little bit more of a divot, but I'll take that. That moved maybe 15 yards in the air. And then all I suggest you do is stay on this lie for a few shots. I'm only hitting two before I switch to a different exercise. Uh, if you're a golfer shooting 85 to 90s, then maybe you hit five to 10. Uh, the better you are as a golfer, the fewer balls you would hit b before switching out the task. But this is just a great way to feel the characteristics needed to hit a draw. So then a little bit too much of the ground, a little fat, but still, uh, you'll see my divot. In fact, I know divots don't really tell us as much these days as what we originally thought they did. 
but there you can see that the club is working a little bit more from the inside and that's the characteristic we need to hit a draw so that's one simple exercise you can do you don't need any gadgets no tools no training aids practice balls ball above your feet lie and that's how you can achieve that natural draw